Hi folks, I'm so high on Android.com, Galaxy S2 root.com, where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a quick update for the GTI 9100 users. If you want the best of the best with the latest Android 5.1.1 on your Galaxy S2 GTI 9100, definitely you have to check out Resurrection Remix ROM. Uh, this ROM has been around for quite a while, uh, offering a ton of great stabilization, performance, customization. Uh, with the latest version, you get the Android 5.1.1, of course, and you'll get a ton of great customization. And for those of you who've been following us for quite a while here, you know that we feature this ROM uh, with ICS, Jelly Bean, and I'm so glad they're still updating it. And uh, you can get a ton of customizations that you're used to in configurations here. And uh, if you go into status bar, uh, you'll be able to enable brightness control, uh, also super user indicator. Uh, when you're using a, a rooted apps, you'll actually show that, um, show a little super user indicator there. Uh, also, you have a bunch of more options here. This is where I centered my clock under clock and date. You can go ahead and align that, All right? Uh, there's also a bunch of custom animations that you can do here. A uh, pie controls, if you want gesture anywhere, um, this one allows you to make gesture shortcuts to your camera or any app you desire. And you've probably noticed that uh, my menu button is now my recents because I got used to using my Note 4 and S6 uh, where they have the menu button as recent. So I've changed that to um, get used to that. All right, you can do all of that uh, in the button settings here, down here. And you can also enable the soft key, so I'll show you in a bit. But if you go down here, you can go ahead and use the hardware keys and customize them. Um, so you see that uh, I've changed my double tap action to launch camera, uh, long press to recent app switcher, and also for my menu button, like I showed you, recent apps. But if I do a long press, it'll still do the menu. Um, so this is a nice way to customize your phone. Um, just like a S6, I can do a double tap and launch the camera. Ah. Okay, it's not launching for some reason. Um, but, ah, I don't know what happened. Uh, anyway, you can customize it there. Some features, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, demo fail. Okay, notification drawer. You can go ahead and customize your notification drawer here. Since the screen on the S2 is kind of small and Lollipop was really designed for larger phones, I think. So what you can do is don't enlarge the first row. Uh, show four tiles per row, right? And that will allow you to see more things more easily along with your notifications there. All right, also you can go ahead and change the colors, All right? So I have these colors here. If you wanna change the header at the top, you can go ahead and click here and change the color to anything you want. All right, and that will change my colors up here. And also if you wanna change the other colors, you can go ahead and click on the background Oh, sorry, you're gonna have to turn on custom color switch and also background there. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to some color like that. And you can go ahead and customize it uh, any way you like. So this is kind of little, but a uh, nice little feature that you can do. Um, and there's also, of course, more options down here. All right, that's pretty much it for that. Um, also, it does come with a uh, black pitch, pitch black theme by West Crip. And this is the original Resurrection theme. So I highly recommend it. If you want to run the full Resurrection Remix, definitely uh, run this theme and apply it. Also, you can run this theme. If you're running other AOSP ROMs, you can go and download uh, Pitch Black theme on the Play Store, it's free. And uh, this will save you some battery life because uh, it's a very dark background. And also your AMOLED screen on the S2 and all the Galaxy uh, screens, they actually use zero energy. I actually did a, tight, a test with my uh, light meter. It's not a huge difference, but it still makes, you know, you still save a little bit when you use black backgrounds on AMOLED versus if you use black on the LCD, it's not, it doesn't use that much energy, but it still uses energy versus no energy. Uh, so that's one good thing if you have an AMOLED screen. Other than that, um, just check it out for this week's ROM of the week. I really love this ROM. Also make sure to grab the Google camera on the Play Store 
Uh, it does come with the camera app, but uh, it's just a regular AOSP and it works flawless. All right, and you'll get lens blur, panorama, photosphere, all that good stuff. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. I mean, if there's one ROM you can install and use your phone for another year or six months, uh, this is it. So definitely, if you're still on ICS Jelly Bean, or if, <laughs> if your phone is stuck in somewhere in your garage, take it out and install this. And you can use it as an extra device. The good thing with the Galaxy S2 is that um, you have the micro SD card slot. Uh, maybe you download stuff on Torrent, um, then go ahead and grab like a 64 gigabyte. Uh, also with the latest Lollipop, it supports beyond 32 gigabytes just fine. So just pop in 64 gigabytes, download some torrents, make it into a torrent device uh, that uses very little energy, or you can make it into a home security camera like I did. Actually, I don't recommend that. Um, I actually have it right here. Let me go ahead and adjust this. I actually have uh, two of these. This is my home security camera using TinyCam. It, uh, it's a live view. Anyway, I'm actually using an LCD-based Asus Zenfone too because that one it has no burn-in. Um, LCDs don't have it. But the uh, AMOLED screens actually have burn-in if you leave it on for like more than like 24 hours if your screen's on 24-7. So that's one thing. I mean, it, you can still use it. I have the Note 2 working, but it's all burned in and the screen's all messed up now. I mean, you can still use it. Just, you can see the burn in mark. So watch out for that. But I mean, there's a ton of ways you can remake this phone if you still have it uh, into a new device by putting in the Lollipop. It's gonna improve your performance. I mean, this phone can still do a lot of things. And the, that's the beauty of Android that you can uh, install these custom ROMs and, you know, uh, transform them into new phones while uh, the latest I think what Jelly Bean update was the latest one for the Galaxy S2 and Samsung has not updated and then you'll be stuck with this laggy touch whiz uh, back from what the 2012 or 13 or whatever but now you can have the technology of 2015 on your Galaxy S2 so definitely check out this ROM and I'll see you guys soon um, well I'll probably not be updating too much because the development has slowed down but whenever there is major updates, I'll definitely update you guys so you guys can upgrade to the next uh, whatever Android is coming out. I mean, this phone could be upgraded for the next another five years or so, which is going to be fun. So I'll see you guys soon. Getting kind of long. Uh, as always, stay on Android.